What's up, everybody? Comic Scholars here. Isaiah. This is Avery. Yep. And uh, basically, we're about to go over uh, the deleted scene that we've seen from uh, uh, Batman vs. Superman uh, Communion, uh, where yeah. Lex Luthor is uh, chilling in blood with a uh, new god. Yeah, it's called Communion. So I think this was a smart move for Warner Brothers based off of the, the bad rap that they got off of the first views of the movie. So let's look into it. Here we go. You guys are gonna watch it with us. We got SWAT coming in. Man, I love BBS. It's awesome. That SWAT is probably uh, what the man of the wallet. Man, the Genesis is taken. Okay, so. Some mother boxes. It was three mother boxes right in front of him, and then there was two. There was about four. Yeah, he looks like he's just like crying. He's in blood. Now I see why they call it communion. Taken from the Judeo-Christian faith. Okay. Wow. So, SWAT walks in. Laser pointers. These dudes ain't playing around. And they see these orbs, like... So this is happening right after Doomsday dies. Because they're coming after him now. Yeah. You know. Um, who, who tipped them off? I'm pretty sure it's no secret. Because who... Think about it. He had access to this ship, right? And they see all this stuff going they on. They saw this stuff going on. There's chaos coming. They're like, well, none of this stuff happened before we gave yeah. access to Lex Luthor. So let's go find him. Yeah. You know, he was probably still chilling there. When uh, Doomsday grabs them and then takes off and they go fight. And they grab Superman and they go fight up. And he's yeah, just does... chilling there. So what, what, something comes down and... Yeah. What do you mean? Something. I mean, that whole yeah. giant being right there, uh -huh. he just comes down and he just chills with Lex Luthor and just gives him knowledge? No, I think that is... Uh... <clears throat> Remember in Man of Steel? How we saw uh, Jor-El explaining the history of Krypton mm -hmm. with Man of, uh, Clark? And the technology that was being used to be like as a visual. Yeah. I think that's the same kind of thing that's going on here. It's just those little animation things that forms whatever you want are talking about. Yeah, because those, those orbs that are over the new god mm -hmm. hovering right over him. Not talking about the mother box, the three mother boxes yeah. that are like right here. Yeah. Talking about like the, these orb things. Yeah. They're kind of Brainiac-esque. Yeah. I mean, of, it's got a Brainiac feel to them. So. Definitely Brainiac has everything to do with how... Uh, technology comes about for the world of Krypton. Okay. You know, he's he's definitely all in their AI systems. He's pretty much given them the, the know-how. Okay. And they've implemented from that point on. We see that all throughout comics. Okay, I get you. Those orbs that we see, I'm thinking that's a representation of all the planets in that spe spe uh, specific universe. So he says, Lex Luthor says to the uh, to the being in front of him, this planet right here, I want knowledge from that planet. He just picked yeah, I mean, the, the thing said 100,000 worlds, right? Mm -hmm. And so he's in there getting all this information. And this, of course, is after that fact. Mm -hmm. So he's going back to the ship where he's just still there after he, he cooks Doomsday, right? He releases him. And you see this. I'm thinking those planets, there could be planets, New Genesis, Apocalypse. And first of all, this character that we see that's formed in front of Lex. It's like a... He, the, he's the, like a silver metallic horn. He's got like horns yeah. coming out on the side. Yeah, there's only two people I, I can think of that has horns. And that's Darkseid's father, Yuga Khan, or that's um, one of Darkseid's Furies, Steppenwolf. Mm, maybe. But Steppenwolf, he, he's, he's always been more human. Yeah. Kind of. A human. That human one looks monstrous. Yeah. You know. I would say Trigon, but I think that's diving way too deep. Yeah. Trigon, if you guys don't know, Trigon is uh, is Raven's father, I guess, basically for the DC universe. Uh, he's supposed to be the devil. He's very powerful. Yeah. Very powerful. But I don't think but it's Trigon. I don't think so either. Uh, I think it's I think it's Yuga Khan because he more so looks like, he more so resembles a god, mm -hmm. more so than Steppenwolf. And that would be, why would, why would a fury be there, mm -hmm. you know, teaching... Lex Luthor of the vast universe and all this stuff. So, okay, so when Lex says, he's, he's taught at the end of BVS, spoiler alert, 
I mean, if you haven't seen the movie, come on. That's now. because you don't want to see it. Exactly. So, we're Batman about. shows up to uh, Bella Reeve, um, where they're holding Lex Luthor, and he says, "You know, whatever you do, I'm watching you." Yeah. And Lex is like, "Good for you." He knows. Yeah. He's coming. The bell has been rung. Yeah. It's either some a, a new god. It's either people. I'm, everybody thinks it's Dark Side, but I think it's Brainiac. Yeah. Um, of course, we know Darkseid is is in the DC universe. Mm-hmm. We saw the symbol, the Omega symbol in the ground at that nightmare scene. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're right. Um, just look at the mood of Lex Luthor when he's present when he's confronted with Batman in that cell. He already knows his identity. He's seen more than Batman. So to Lex, he just seems like you can't threaten me. So it's like he touched the Mobius chair. Right, it's like he's got a taste of that power, and he's like, when these dudes show up, I'm probably going to be on their side. Mm-hmm. You know. Do you, uh, let me a- let me ask you this: as my, I don't think he got the full knowledge of the hundred thousand planets. No, he can't. There's not enough time. But an average person in his, in Lex's position, do you think they would succumb to like too much uh, knowledge overload? Like, does he have the mental capacity? To hold all that he uh, that he received the unforbidden or the forbidden knowledge, and he's trying to stay sane. Well, the only example we have of that is the animated series of Superman mm-hmm. or Justice League Unlimited, when Lex was going to the Source Wall. Who brought him there? Well, it was Metron, right? Metron told him like, "Hey, if you don't have at least a twelfth level intellect, you're not going to be able to handle this." So, no, I don't think this Lex that we have a much younger. Lex Luthor that we've never seen before in comics or movies, I don't think he's he's able to take in all that information. He just got just enough to, and he's if you can tell he's he's kind of nutty right now, mm-hmm. even more so than what we saw. A lot of people say he was Joker esque, you know. Joker and Riddler. Yeah, but you can't blame him for that. Why? Because Joker, there's so many personifications of Joker. There's so many adaptations of him. Mm-hmm. He can go just straight dark. He can go funny. He can just he can do so many different things. And so when another villain comes up and just be loopy in the same universe as Joker. People are like, oh that's Joker. Oh yeah, that's Riddler. You, you, that's not fair. You can't do that. Yeah. I mean how else is he gonna act? I think how he is now, um, at the end of BVS, yeah he's a little bit crazy, but at the same time I think he's gonna start balancing out and he's gonna mature into the Lex that we all know. Right. You know, he's I not he's not all quirky and yeah. <laughs> laughing at his yeah. own jokes or whatever. Yeah. I think he's now he's there's something that's coming and it's bigger than Superman. And, oh, yeah. you know, he's going to start to be the Lex that we yeah. know. And eventually we may see him uh, actually team up temporarily with the Justice League because he believes that this threat that he brought is something that he shouldn't have done. It's well too much. So do you think we'll see some... Uh, Forever Evil? Forever Evil. Who knows? I, I, I would want to see that. I mean, I think so, only because of the words that he said in the cell. They are, he is hungry. In the universe of DC, when you hear he is hungry, you hear Anti-Monitor. And that's the one that is pretty much the antagonist or problem for Darkseid. Why? Because the Anti-Monitor, that's how he got his name. He holds the anti-life equation. He actually yielded it. He wielded the power. And to spoilers, if you haven't read Dark Side War, which uh, to me is the best adaptation that Jeff Johns has, has worked on, he kills Dark Side using the anti, uh, anti-life anti equation. So I think it's a combination of the two characters that we're going to see is Dark Side and the Anti-Monitor. That could also, with the Anti-Monitor, it's going to usher in the uh, Green Lantern Corps. Yeah, we're getting all three of them. They confirmed that. If you didn't see the special on the uh, on the CW, mm-hmm. it was right before the Flash or the Arrow television show. That was pretty cool. Um, so that's going to be John Stewart, Hal Jordan, and the third one is up for grabs. But I want it to be Kyle Rayner, only because he's the one that's mastered all levels of the Power Rings. Oh, really? He mastered all. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And then he right. became the the White Lantern, right? The God, yeah. Yeah. He becomes that. That may be too much. I think people. that's a little too much. Be too much, but still use that character. I would love to see that. Yeah. So be awesome. That's our uh, our review of communion. Um, 
this deleted scene is going to be a part of the R-rated version that's coming out on Blu-ray. They haven't said it's going to come in theaters. I don't think it will because we're pretty much getting close to the end of March. Yeah. Um, we're, we're already in April, so we're coming to the end of that. And um, if they were going to release it, it'll been in the theaters by now. That and you know. they're going to try to push out this thing quick yeah. to get on DVD. Yeah. So if you're going to see any more details about Batman vs Superman, we have to wait to Blu-ray. So. I'm overall I'm happy with the movie. I'm very happy with. It. I think uh, Bruce Wayne, uh, Ben Affleck is the best Bruce Wayne we've seen. Hands down, the closest to any comic book uh, relation. Hands down, that we've seen. I mean, he's doing detective work, right? He's actually he's, he doesn't need the aid of Lucius Fox. Lucius Fox came and gone. He might be in this universe somewhere, so he's he can do all this himself. I like Alfred. Alfred is in line with him. He he disagrees on some of his decisions, but he's like, okay, I'm a ride or die. This is what we're going to do. I'm sorry, but, you know, he's keeping that oath that he gave yeah. uh, Thomas Wayne. And we could talk about this all day, guys, yeah. but we're going to have our... Uh, going for a rant. <laughs> we have our uh, next video coming out where we're uh, going to review and have our expectations for uh, the rated R Dawn of Justice. Yeah, we'll just go a little bit over what uh, Zack Snyder says about it. That'll be it. Right on. All right, we'll see y'all later. See you guys.